This year we are getting Wano Kuni, and I wanted to do a quick video going over my expectations for Wano. These are not predictions, these are things that I simply want to or expect to be covered in Wano. As I said in my 2017 expectations video, I am expecting a lot of Zoro this arc. Now, I'm not expecting a year of Zoro, I'm not. You have to realize, Zoro has been everywhere since the time skip. We've gotten enough Zoro that we don't need a year of Zoro, but we definitely need more Zoro, and I'm after not having him for literally an entire year. We got no Zoro this year, guys. So almost no, we got Zoro this year, but he didn't really do anything. Like we had him, he was there for though, but aside for that, he wasn't really there. We got like no Zoro greatness. We have kind of got Zoro just there, not any greatness. More information on his backstory. Now, Zoro, I'm sorry, his backstory with Karina is good. It works for the character. But I still can't believe Karina, a girl that is 12 years old, that is defeating adults, like grown men in a sword fight, that died falling down there. No, something's up with that. I actually think she's alive and she's in Wano right now. I think she's in Wano. And if we're gonna, ever gonna get anything on Kuina, it's going to be in Wano. Let's be honest. So I'm very hyped. I also think we should get something on Zoro's Sensei. I feel that it's just something that's necessary. So I'm very, very excited for that. Kaido. This will be Kaido's arc. Kind of like how when we arrived on Whole Cake Island, we have started getting Big Mom stuff. I'm expecting by the end of 2017 to know what Kaido Devil Fruit is. Or what his power is if he does not have a Devil Fruit. But I definitely want to start getting more on Kaido in Wano Kuni. Um, I'm expecting to see a fight between Zoro and the Shogun. I feel like the Shogun will probably be right below Kaido. Like, if we do fight Kaido, it will be like Law, Luffy. Marco and all those guys fighting Kaido, and then you'll have um you'll have the Shogun who will be Zoro fight, and I feel like Sanji. I feel like Sanji kind of gonna be on the sideline for this arc after we got so much Sanji in this previous year of Sanji. Now this is an expectation I have with every arc. It never happens, but I'm expecting Robin to get a fight. Not gonna happen. Never in a million years. Would be really nice if it did. That's an expectation. I'm not even gonna bitch about it. If this was any other series, I'd probably bitch about it. But at this point, I'm so sick of bitching about how Robin doesn't get fights. I just give it up. Like, I, I'm some guy on YouTube. Me complaining that Robin not getting a fight isn't gonna do anything. If I thought it would, I would complain. But Robin's not gonna get a fight. I'm expecting her to. Because I expect her to get a fight every arc. She never does, but I'll just tell you I'm expecting it. I'm expecting the Marco greatness. I am definitely expecting that they're gonna have Marco in this arc. I'm one of the people that believe they are going to be able to get this Marco to come and join them. So I'm expecting the Marco greatness. After all the years of these debates, how strong is Marco? Is he Admiral level? Is he not Admiral level? I am betting we finally solve that mystery with the Marco greatness this arc. I am also expecting some more greatness. We got a ton of it in Dress Rosa. I'm expecting some more greatness from me boy Trafalgar Law. I'm expecting some Law greatness. Now we're going to be returning to the bad acid. I'm not saying I don't like the current arc in One Piece. The whole King Island arc, I'm not saying that. But the bad act characters like Zoro and Law, and not having them there has, it does make me a bit sad that we don't get bad act one liner from Zoro and Law this arc. I'm also expecting to see Luffy try to fight Kaido. I feel like Luffy going to attempt to fight Kaido and he's gonna lose. I do think it gives like a crocodile situation. Like he's gonna try to fight Kaido. Kaido's just gonna kick his ass. And it's, I want to see Luffy get his ass kicked by a Yoko in combat. Not like the Big Mom stuff we're getting right now in the manga. Where he's getting his ass beat by Big Mom. No, I'm expecting him to get his ass literally kicked by Kaido. I also want to find out why Kaido doesn't drown himself. 
I'm sorry, but if he is immortal, it has to be a devil fruit. It has to be, and I, I'm expecting, I've, as I said before, to learn more about Kaido, and more so why he just doesn't find a way around his immortality. Unless he has legit immortality, or he's just that godly. Like, unless he's like part fifth man, and has a body durable enough to survive being hit, like, by like a 10,000 meter fall, without, I mean 10,000 meter, but it was either 5,000 or 10,000 meter. But that's beside the point, it's just like, come on Kyo, it can't, killing yourself can't be that hard. So I definitely want to find more information on that out. And that's about it for my Wano expectation video, those are just my bare bone basic expectations. You can later see me doing a video about my prediction for the arc, which I will be doing probably in about a week. So if you want to see my prediction for Wano Kuni, subscribe for more videos, like the video if you enjoy, tell me what you expect from the arc. Not really predictions, what you think will realistically happen, but just so like, what do you want to happen in Wano Kuni? Tell me in the comments, like the video if you enjoy, subscribe for more videos, and above all else guys, have a great day. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, which are linked in the description box down below.